Okay, so because I'm making a lot of changes, I thought it would be good to get a before video. Uh, so I'm going to do a bit of a walk around the boat. I'm not going to show you the cockpit because the cockpit is currently a workshop. Um, but I will flip the camera and uh, show you the rest of the boat. Okay, so excuse the mess. We're going to start at the back of the boat. Um, like I said, cockpit is a workshop. I thought I wasn't going to show you, but I've changed my mind. This is the instrument panel. Um, a lot of this is moving because I have already pulled out the diesel engine and that's going to become a, an electric boat. Um, instruments are quite old, so they're going to be replaced. And we'll get into the living area saloon. Um, it's in weekend mode at the moment, which is very, very comfortable. Uh, I'll change it when I go back to the office. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of light in the boat, which is really, really nice. Um, got windows all around. And if I lower down a bit, you've got a second set of windows on the edge of the boat. So that's where a TV used to be. Um, I think it's a good spot, so I'm going to put one back. At the moment I've been putting my laptop on a table over here. Um, let's start with the bathroom. So the first thing that's going to change is the old sea toilet is coming out. And in its place is going a composting. Um, just as well I'm doing the video now, apparently the composting has arrived and I, I owe another large sum of money to customs for the 25% VAT. Thank you very much, Brexit. Sink will need to be redone. We've got cabinets up here that need to be sorted out as well. That's me. Hello. I haven't showered yet today. I need a shower. Mm. But boat work is dirty. Right, so from there, we go up the stairs again. And we can go down to the other side. Alright, uh, at the moment this is the scullery area. It's got a nice little round portal, I like the round portals. And uh, it's got a fridge, a very nice Dometic fridge. It seems to work very well. Uh, in that hole over there is where the engine was. So I've still got to go and clear that all out. And behind this door is the electrical panel. Ah! <laughs> so that is a massive, massive problem. I don't think that's going to get past any inspections. Uh, the good news is a lot of the wiring belongs to the engines. Uh, this stuff up here. So that's all coming out. Um, but then this 220 volt wiring is, is a bit of a problem. So I'm going to pull most of it out and, uh, and start again. Hopefully the 12 volt wiring is okay. I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to have to inspect and see how things look there. All right, my kitchen. As I said, I've been pulling things out. Uh, there's normally one of these uh, cream-colored uh, edges on top here, um, but I've taken that one out already. Hence the bolts. Um, this is the current gas oven, um, and there was a gas bottle over there. Um, the gas bottle is going outside. You can't have gas bottles inside a boat. That's just insane. Um, the gas stove and oven is probably also going to go, um, because I'm converting to electric, I'm going to run an electric uh, stove. Uh, I'm not sure about the oven. Uh, the microwave has got a grill feature, so that might be good enough for us. Otherwise, we'll, I'll see how that thing does. Uh, inside here, it's a giant open space. 
I have measured and the washing machine will fit inside there. So there's a few things we'll have to move. And then the washing machine will go inside. Uh, various little bits of drawers. Oh, this one hasn't got a drawer yet. This is a gas water heater. So I'm probably going to move that outside the boat uh, to be an outside deck shower that'll be warm. Um, and that's just more space we can convert into storage. Uh, knives and forks. Bigger things. Glasses and mugs. And pots. On the other side. We've got a toaster, a microwave with a grill feature, and a dustbin, which has been used. Very nice place to have a dustbin. This side has got a built-in heater, a switch right on top. It actually works, and when it's cold, it's quite nice to have warm air by your feet. Um, this is an empty space because of the heater, so if we get rid of the heater, we gain an extra cupboard. The kettle goes over here, the kettle was broken. I've got a new kettle on its way from Amazon Germany. There's quite a lot of space. I wonder what else could go in there. And then up here are plugs which are probably not going to survive because um, I suspect they're actually not plugs but extension cables and they won't, won't be good enough. Um, last side, plates and stuff. A few more kitchen things. And cleaning supplies. So a fairly good amount of space in the kitchen. Ah, there's one more. Under the stove. We've got... There's an electric stove in there. Um, but I think I'll, I'll switch to an induction. But there's also quite a bit of space, especially once we take that stove out. Alright. And at the very front of the boat is the bedroom. So... You won't believe me, but underneath here is a small little bathtub in the bedroom. But at the moment this is my cupboard, and uh, this is where I sleep. Um, this boat usually has two cabins. There's a split around about here somewhere. Um, but a lot of owners, uh, the previous owner included, converted it into a king-size cabin. So this is a king-size bed on the boat, which is... Uh, quite brilliant and uh, you can access it from both sides so I'm going to go across the bed get to the other side still lots of stuff here that uh, needs to be taken out there we go so this will be another this side is slightly wider than the other side um, so this will end up being Candace's side and uh, at the moment, so apparently my phone only takes eight minute videos. So I've been speaking to the last uh, five minutes without uh, recording. Uh, as I was saying, so apparently, no, so this side at the moment is just storage, which is all going to be cleared out. Uh, underneath here is a flexible water tank, but the boat has already got two water tanks, um, and I'm planning on putting in a water maker, so that'll come out and that'll free up a cupboard space. Um, this side is wider, so Candace will have this side. Um, it's actually quite a lot wider and more spacious than the other side. Um, once we clear everything out, uh, all of this will be turned into cupboard space and storage space, etc. Moving back here, we've got uh, all of the pillars for outside. Uh, at the moment, they're not there. Normally what you've got back here is just a a bench. There's usually a chart table at the end where your legs go under and this becomes a, a single bed. Um, we have, haven't got a need for a single bed on this side of the boat. So we will convert this into storage if we need more storage. Um, on this side we've got cupboards already. They are fairly large. Let's get into one of them. And in some places very deep. Uh, obviously all the wiring is going to be out so it's going to be tidied up. Mostly empty at the moment. It's got some old maps and the winch handles. And right at the bottom, we've got the life jackets. Now go up the other side. 
big empty space. Lots of tools. These tools will go outside. And uh, a very weird little shelf. I've got some binoculars there. Um, and underneath, on this side, there is an electric water heater over there. A uh, geezer, basically. So that's going to be hooked up. Um, and at the other side, we'll remove the pop rivets and make more storage over there. So there should be plenty of storage uh, on this side. And if we really want to, we can build in cupboards over here as well. All right, I will take you outside into the, the workshop area. And I will start on this side. Uh, there's a winch behind there. Lines come through the spots. Um, underneath this door and that door used to be one of the diesel engines. It was an absolute nightmare getting it out, but we eventually did. Underneath this door and the next one, excuse my toe, I'm pointing like a monkey, um, is a giant fridge or freezer. Uh, but it doesn't work and it takes up a lot of room. So I think that needs to come out and we need to get our storage space back. This is the third one at the back. Now this used to be the gas locker. Um, it should never have been moved because gas needs to be in a vented locker and as you can see the little hole there. This one does vent to the outside. Um, we're going to keep the gas bottles there because what we plan to do is to put in, I'm just going to walk you outside, is to put in a gas bry and that will either be mounted to uh, the seal frame or we might have one that you put on a platform over the dinghy. Uh, this is the, the dinghy davits. Uh, it raises and lowers with a nice rope system. It's actually very easy to raise and lower the dinghy. Um, not a bad design. This is the boarding ladder for when you need to cover a bit of a gap between the, the dock and the boat. Um, needs a couple of pieces of wood replaced, but uh, mostly they're actually quite good. And uh, I'll take you back into the cockpit. And, uh, and that's it. Under so the last two doors over there was um, another diesel engine. Thank goodness that's gone. They smelled terrible. They, they were an absolute nightmare to, to try and maintain and figure out. Um, hopefully uh, I'll get some good money for those to sell them. And uh, I'm going to be putting in some electric motors and a uh, good set of batteries. And uh, hopefully about 3.2 kilowatts of solar power on the roof, which is actually brilliant. Uh, that's the washing machine, which is going to go in the kitchen at the moment. It's my laundry basket. And uh, that's it. That's the boat tour. Hope you enjoyed it.